Good morning, everybody. I'm making breakfast pizzas for breakfast this morning. This is the pan I cooked the sausage in. I just removed the sausage. Got to check on my crust and roll dough. They're still not ready. Then I just put some all-purpose flour. Now we're pouring in the milk. That sausage, that Jimmy Dean sausage, never really has uh, many sausage drippings. It's usually just a very little bit, so I add butter so that I get more to work with to be able to make the gravy. Okay, I'm going to turn this down to simmer now. Might have to add just a little bit more milk. We could also make gravy with the bacon drippings over here. I'm just putting salt and pepper in this gravy. Okay, those need just a couple more minutes and they will be ready. So now we're going to take the gravy and we're actually using the gravy for both of these breakfast pieces. What I'm going to do is just put a little bit on each one. This is like the pizza sauce. And this is thicker than our gravy normally would be. Like if I was just making gravy biscuits, we would make it just a little thinner. So it would pour over the biscuits good. But for this breakfast pizza, we want it to be a little thicker. And you could leave this part out and not even put the gravy if you wanted to. You don't have to put the gravy. This is the sausage one, so we're going to dump the sausage on here. Now, everything is already done, but once we get everything on here, we are going to stick it in the oven just for a couple of minutes to melt the cheese. Now we put the eggs. We finished breakfast. Everybody started with their schoolwork now. Manly is still sleeping this morning. He's sleeping in today. So I'm about to make my coffee and I wanted to tell y'all that today's video is a collab with Shasta from Abiding Farmhouse. I've collabed with Shasta before so a lot of y'all probably already know her but if you don't she is a mama to nine girls. She just had her ninth baby girl not too long ago. They are all so precious. She does homeschool videos, day in the life videos, grocery hauls, cooking, all the things. So definitely go check her video out when you finish here. I know y'all will love her. Now I have to decide which kind of coffee I want today. I think I'm going to go with the pecan pie coffee. This is, I think, my favorite one from that box that I got that had pecan pie, coconut, hazelnut, and salted caramel. The pecan pie is my favorite. Also, the caramel pumpkin spice was really good the other day, too. I almost made that one, but I think I'm going to go with pecan pie since I still have some of those. Best smell ever. Sausage and bacon were pretty good, too. Oh, by the way, here's what we have left of the breakfast pizza. I think, I thought I was going to like the sausage. <laughs> that is so loud. I thought I was going to like the sausage the best. The kids have their headphones on now, so they can't hear me talking anyway, or the coffee maker. But anyway, I thought I was going to like the sausage one the best since it had the sausage gravy on it, but I actually think I like the bacon one. I think everybody liked the bacon one. There's more sausage left than bacon, so I'm thinking everybody liked the bacon. That's wonderful. I just put uh, Dunkin' Extra Extra Creamer in there. I had just a little bit left of this one. Walmart yesterday on the grocery haul gave me, they didn't have Dunkin' Extra Extra, and they gave me Coffee Mate Original, so we'll see how we like that. See if it compares to the Dunk. It's my nickname for Dunkin', the Dunk, okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. Man's up now. He's already had his breakfast. Yeah. Now he's over here doing his work. His favorite is still the Melissa and Doug books, y'all. This is still his favorite. The puffy sticker one and the water one. Who's this? He. There's the he. What about this one? Who's this one? Pig goes. What's this one? Good job. What does the rooster say? He always wants to put the turtle on his hand. Is that a turtle? Did you have a yummy breakfast? He ate some of the sausage one. Was it good? Good. Yeah, it was good. All right, y'all, it's after 10 o'clock now. I'm gonna go ahead and start supper in the slow cooker. Tonight, we're gonna be having the slow cooker beef stew with dumplings. I'm also heating up my coffee. I started helping the kids with a few things and left my coffee over there and forgot about it. First, we're gonna put the stew meat inside this bowl. I have two packs here. I have one uh, big family size pack and then I got another smaller pack too. So we're just putting some all-purpose flour in here with the stew meat and a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're just gonna stir it so it can coat the stew meat. Could also get just a chuck roast and do it that way, but then you're gonna have to take the chuck roast out of the slow cooker at the end and chop it up, unless you wanted to chop it up before you put it in. But I just got the already, you know, chopped up stew meat this time. Okay, now we're gonna sit this over to the side, bring it over the slow cooker. We're gonna put in three cups of beef broth. I actually, how much do I have here? This is about four cups. I'm gonna put in almost this whole carton of beef broth. You know what, I'm just gonna put all of it because I have more stew meat than the original recipe called for, so we're just gonna put four cups of beef broth in there. I'll have the original amounts though down below for y'all. We're putting in this whole can of tomato paste. It's a six ounce can. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the slow cooker on high. We're gonna put in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Oh, drop the whisk in. <laughs> Let me wash that off real quick. We're putting in about three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Now, I want the onions to be big pieces, so I'm just gonna quarter them like that, and then we'll break them up and put them in there like this. But if you wanna chop them up smaller, you can. Now I'm just gonna stir this. We're gonna add in the stew meat. That's it for now. We're just gonna put the lid on and it's gonna cook on high for five hours. You can also do it on low for eight hours. We're going with high. And once it's cooked on high for five hours, then we're gonna make the dumplings and put those in and it'll cook for one more hour. So total cook time on high will be six hours. Look at this beauty. All right, y'all, it's time to get the dumplings made so we can put them in the beef stew. We are gonna need two cups of all-purpose flour. This is the same dumplings uh, recipe that I use for my chicken and dumplings. A tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm just gonna shake that in. So we're just whisking that together. These dumplings are really easy and they are so good. The last thing we need is heavy cream. We need one and one third of a cup of heavy cream. We just mix all of this together and that's it. We can, you know what, I think I'm gonna add a little parsley in here too. A little bit of parsley flakes. And I think I'm gonna use the cookie scoop here. Bring over the slow cooker. 
This is smelling very good, by the way. We came back inside a minute ago. It smelled amazing. Let me see how tender my carrots are. They're, pre they're pretty tender. I like for the carrots to be really, really, really tender. Oh, y'all can eat. Lord have mercy. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna drop in the dumplings, and it doesn't matter. They don't have to be a perfect circle. I usually do this by hand and it might be faster because they are definitely wanting to stick to the cookie scoop. Yeah, we're gonna go by hand, that's taking too long. So when I get these done, we're just gonna cover it again. It's gonna cook for one more hour with the dumplings and in about 30 minutes, I'll go ahead and start the mashed potatoes. Alright y'all, we are finished eating. I already got the leftovers packed up. We have a lot of the beef stew left over and some mashed potatoes. I don't normally like beef stew, but I really like that. It's really good. I'm trying to remember, we made an instant pot beef stew back in the winter or something and it was good too, but this to me was even better than that. Now it's time to get the kitchen cleaned up and get people ready for bed. The sun has set not long ago. Now everybody goes below. What are they going to do? A wawa. In the wawa, yep, to take a bath in one big tub with soap all over. Scrub, scrub, scrub. They hang their towels on the wall and find pajamas, big and small. <laughs> Yay! With some on top and some beneath, they brush and brush and brush their teeth. And when the moon is on the rise, they all go up. <gasps> what do they do? You hear Sissy? To exercise. Yes. And down once more, but not so fast. They're on their way to bed at last. The day is done. They say goodnight. And somebody turns off the light. 